Hi team, I hope everyone is in great spirits, or perhaps those spirits who have possessed you are great. <laughs> Either way, I hope you are filled with great things, or even grape things for this guy. Uh, you know what, before we go yimmer yammer and go into all of this stuff, really quick, I just wanted to talk to you about kind of like my commenting schedules and um, just kind of things that have been happening as of late. And so one, I've uh, been really experiencing tremendous growth both on YouTube and on Instagram. So I'm really, really indebted to everyone who helps make this happen, either by watching videos, sharing videos, or, you know, just kind of, you know, engaging and all of that. And I appreciate it. But what's happened is the amount of comments have uh, have increased and they've compounded because it's not like that just new videos get comments. Old videos also get comments as well. And just on different platforms and um you know i want to be as polite as possible i feel like if somebody took the time uh to basically um message me i i want to respond as well but i'm just kind of running out of time i mean i don't know how else to say it you know i mean i try to respond in the morning and i try to respond in the evening as well but uh the bottom line is i've just been running out of time and especially on youtube one of the things that youtube is really poor about doing is it doesn't show me subsequent replies like the first reply like I see, like somebody comments and I can reply to you. But let's say we're engaging in a conversation and you reply to my reply. YouTube won't notify me. I have to go into the studio and I have to look through all the threads to basically find it. I just haven't really found a smart way to um, to do this, basically, an effective way. Um, Instagram and uh, Facebook do something uh, really, really smart. They have something called... Um, the meta business partner suite or something like that. But when I go in there, any any comments from their platform, be it Facebook, Insta, or anything, are all shown to me in one spot. And they're all aggregated in each thread and each post. And it makes it very, very easy to do so. But YouTube is not like that because YouTube is a video sharing platform first and a social media platform second, whereas the other ones are the vice, other way around, you know, even though they're all trying to both kind of meet in the middle. Um, and so... If if uh, if you don't see me reply to you or reply to your comments or something, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to diss you or, or or like you know I'm not trying to ignore you or anything like that. It's just largely it's it's most likely I didn't see it you know and, and so I do my best. But just please understand that when that happens again, there's no hate, no nothing like that for anybody. But uh, I just figure I put that out there. And the reason I put that out there is sometimes I'll comment on folks' stuff and I won't get replies, <laughs> and I'll just be like, oh, kind of said something, but you know. I realize can't reply to everything can't reply to everything you know what i mean and uh i thought this day would come i didn't know when it would be but it's slowly getting there and so please 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 understand uh you know that that again no disrespect is meant whatsoever to anybody yeah okay thank you so much for listening all right take care no i'm just kidding um in front of us is a uh, galvatron grand galvatron with two black roll reaches um, he is beautiful. He is beautiful. And uh, I really like these arm things over here. Yeah, it does kind of impede um, like uh, arm movement and stuff. Like you see that it ruins the sculpt. But I just really like how it cascades down the chest fits kind of like form fits the angle. And I like that. I like that a lot. And so um, to me, that's fine. To me, that's fine. Because these are just statues for me anyway. Um I know some folks uh, like their fan modes being very, very poseable and flexible, and that's super cool. Yeah, that's super cool. Um, mine, I go for stability and just visual look first uh, versus like mobility and stuff like that. That's actually secondary to me. Um, but yeah, so he's a little bit stiff, but you know, whatever's gravy, baby, whatever's gerber, burber, burber. I said, I was trying to say whatever's gravy, baby, but it sounded like whatever's gerber, burber. And so, um, yeah, so like I said, Grand Galvatron. Or, or Galvatron with the two black Rorichi's armor. Um, one of the things that I was able to do on this build is this, this right here. You see these really cool shin guards made using the front of the Rorichi figures. Took me a cool sec to figure that out. All right, maybe about half an hour, but it took me a cool half hour to figure that out and get it in the way that I wanted. And it all stems from this piece right over here, which is, let me show you over here, which is a, just the a hip connector or the middle torso hip connector for the fast track uh, black Rorichi figure. And, um, yeah, and even this is not adhered to the leg. This is adhered to the foot and then the foot is plugged in to the, so this, sorry, this is the black row leg that's turning into the foot here. The black row leg, uh, you plug this in, then you angle that up and you plug this in using the, the other one of these, um, hip connectors and you plug it in, believe it or not, to the back of this dude's head. And that's why his head is sitting at an angle while I hit the camera right now. Um, but I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And I may try. Uh, I mean, blah, 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 blah. I may try doing this on Optimus Prime as well. Um, 
Or even Nemesis Prime, perhaps. Ooh. I wonder if I can give Nemesis Prime this armor. Uh, hold on. My bad. For you, for those of you who watch the channel, you know why I said hold on and pause. I don't even say it. I don't even need to say it anymore. Um, but no, he looks good. He looks good. And even this whole contraption over here, these are all connected via this. So really, the feet are the magical part of this particular build. Yeah, I'm sure Al Bundy would be uh, super happy to hear that. Well, maybe not. He hated being a shoe salesman. Shout outs to Al Bundy the Great. Um, <laughs> But yeah, the feet and the legs of the bl black row figure really are, are the part that are the parts that are keeping this together. Uh, looks good from the front, looks good from the back, and so this I can just show you. I'll, I'll take this one off. See all that? It's just like it almost it's almost like Iron Man armor. Like that's pretty tight. Um, this is just the foot upside down, and this is the back of the black row figure. You got one arm plugged in over here, you got one arm over there, and then boom, you do this, one arm points up, one arm points down, plug that into the arm, and then make sure this is right up against the chest like that. That's neat, that's neat, I dig that a lot. Um, in terms of how the foot is made, like this whole contraption, I'm gonna have to set him down. Yeah, look at that. Look at, oh, look at that. Hold up. Yeah, so you can see this is one foot, and you want the uh, leg, rather, and it's becoming the foot, and you want the wheels to be facing the inside. Then the outside, you're plugging this in, because there's a hole right there. You can see on the inside where that hole is. You're plugging this in. Uh, you keep one up here, and the other you extend out, and you plug into the back of this dude's head. And after that, you plug the whole foot compartment in, uh, because there are little like um, empty spaces under Galvatron's foot, the little pesky tab that you get from the fast track leg and stuff will not give you any problems. And from here, you're just kind of fidgeting around with it because, you know, this thing is on a universal more or less. Um, you can kind of give it some good angles and stuff. And there we have it nice and covered, except he's blurry. Let's put on the glasses, right? Yep, there we go. And um, to kind of cover up this side over here, I put that little blade and that's plugged into the uh, the shoulder and that gives it a nice illusion, like it's a big, chunky, cohesive leg armor piece. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't he? Beautiful. Really, really enjoyed making this build. Um, and uh, yeah, but but going back to what I was saying at, at the start of this video, yeah, I have a tremendous am amount of respect for everyone who watches, um, comments, and engages with me. And I honestly feel so, so, so bad when I'm missing people's comments. And sometimes I'll like be looking through threads uh, just to see if like I, I missed anybody and like sometimes I'll go back even like five days. I have been telling myself that I should set a cutoff, that I shouldn't respond to anything beyond three days. Um, and, and I've been kind of telling myself maybe I should just do it on the first day, the first 24, even 48 hours. But um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I just I don't have the capacity to comment, uh, reply to everyone despite wanting to. So I don't know. I'm going to have to try to figure this out. And um because, you know, sometimes internet um, etiquette is like somebody comments on you and you, you, you just press the like or thumbs up button. And that's typically like, cool, cool, man. Cool story. I appreciate that. Moving on. Like, you're not going to get nothing from me, you know. As, it's as if, like, you know, I was showing off a build or something and somebody would tell me like, hey, man, that's tight. And I just looked at them and I thumbs up instead of like, hey, I appreciate that or something like that. They would just be like, all right. And that's almost like I don't want to talk to you anymore. And that's not the case. And so anyway, I am... Um, well, what's the word I'm looking for? The word I'm trying to look for is a synonymous to troubled. I am not vexed. That's too hard of a, harsh of a word. I am, I am like bothered, you know, like troubled, but ah, there's a better word that I'm looking for. Not perplexed. Um, I am not vexed. I am, it's, I, I feel like it sounds like an X word, perplexed, but now I just feel like the beginning of Reservoir Dogs, where we got that main guy going, Toby Chong, Toby Wong. You know what I'm talking about? You can't figure that out, the old guy. That's just me right now. I'm, whatever, dude. I'm bothered <laughs> I'm bothered by the fact that uh, people might be, uh, be, be um, not offended, but uh, you know what I mean, dude. I'm just kind of rambling at this point. Um, but, hey, I hope you have enjoyed the build, and especially for those of you all who watched the end of the video. Seriously, you guys are champions and legends. And only 10% of the people um, from this channel watch it. And also, also, like, while the what's really interesting, while the shorts uh, video counts have been going up, the the standard videos, the longer ones, they just remain the same. So I feel like it's the same, like, 20 people who are, like, you know, staying to the end and listening. But, yo, 
my respect and my gratitude to, to those 20 people. You know who you are. You know who you are. And so thank you so much. Um, I'll wrap with you guys again another time, all right? Oh, by the way, thanks for all the support uh, regarding the, um, the A to Z Transformers rhyme and stuff. I'm glad you all like that. Maybe I'll do more of that in the future. Okay, bye.